Welcome to question 5 of the 2018 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Southern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So for question 5 we have let the function f have a domain of 2 to infinity where f of x is equal to 1 divided by x subtract 2 all squared and we are asked to state the rule and the domain of the inverse function. So before we go too far into this question, I'm going to start by doing a quick sketch of the graph of f of x. So we know based on the x subtract 2 that appears in the denominator, that there's going to be an asymptote at x equals positive 2. So we're going to draw that just here with a straight dotted line. So that is at x equals 2. Based on the domain of 2 to infinity, we know that our truncus graph would look like this and there would be a horizontal asymptote with the equation y equals zero as well. And because we know where this question's heading, down the bottom of the page I'm just going to set up a prompt for myself that I need to write it as f inverse of x equals the rule and I also need to state the domain x is an element of something. So we'll fill those out at the end of this question. So to find the inverse, we're going to start by letting y equal just the function of f of x. So therefore we have y is equal to 1 divided by x subtract 2 all squared. And then we're going to swap x and y to find the inverse. So therefore we find that x is equal to 1 divided by y minus 2 squared. And now we need to solve for y. So by multiplying both sides by y subtract 2 squared and dividing by x, we arrive at the line y subtract 2 squared is equal to 1 divided by x. And now if you do need to see that intermediate step, it would have looked like x times y subtract 2 all squared is equal to 1, and that would have been multiplying both sides by the denominator. And then dividing both sides by x would give that next line that we just talked about. Next up, the opposite of squaring would be the square root, so that's the inverse operation that will give y subtract 2 is equal to, and at this point we get plus or minus the square root of 1 divided by x. And now we're at the stage where we need to decide whether we need the positive half or the negative half. So just summarising the domain and range of the functions f and f inverse, we know the domain of f was 2 to infinity, and based on the graph we can see the range is from 0 to infinity. And now for an inverse function the domain and range swap. So the domain of the inverse function is going to be 0 to infinity. So we can write that down here in fact because in the final answer we needed to state the domain of the inverse function. And that the range is going to be 2 to infinity. And the only way that we can get the function to go from 2 towards infinity is to select the positive square root. So that means f inverse of x is going to equal the positive 1 on the square root of x and then we add 2 to get y by itself and that is the rule that we were looking for. So that is the answer to this question. So from the examiner's report we can see that 46% of students got full marks for this question and that the examiner said that students appeared to manage this question confidently. However, some students did not handle the algebraic manipulation correctly and others used incorrect notation either in stating their final answer or in stating the domain that was asked of in this question.